Most entrepreneurs don't understand the power of nonprofits. Cody Capital helps businesses create and leverage these business entities to receive up to $120,000 a year in free marketing. So reach out to them and find out how to utilize this amazing benefit. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the New Hampshire Business Show. My name is Chris Pastrana, and today we're here with Jessica Pathoon of Sage Lotus Healing. How's it going? Yeah, I'm doing well. Thanks. How you doing? Yeah, I didn't, didn't mess up the name. No, you so. did it. You nailed Correct. it. Yeah. <laughs> so let's get going. Uh, tell, us, tell us a little bit about Sage Lotus Healing and uh, about yourself. Um, well, I'm a massage therapist. Mm-hmm. I um, have been doing massage therapy since 1995. And... Um, about that time, too, I did my Reiki training, which mm-hmm. is a hands-on like, energy healing. Okay. So I've been doing it a long time. Um, I love uh, massage therapy. I, I got a massage, and, like, as soon as I got finished getting my first massage, I was like, whoa. Like, I was like, I have to find out more about this. Like, the way I felt from when I went in to when I walked out was, like, so profound. It really sparked an interest. So that's when I went to massage school and Mm -hmm. learned about Reiki. And then um, in about 2007, I did my yoga teacher training. So um, that's what I do with Sage Lotus Healing. I do mostly massage therapy. Um, And I do a few different kinds. I do um, mostly deep tissue. Most of the people that come to see me have chronic issues, um, maybe an old injury or repetitive use injury. And I do a combination of um, different sports techniques and stretching techniques and uh, I'll use my hands, my elbows, my forearms and um, work work the knots out or try to release pent up um, tension in those areas that yeah. have been previously injured. And I like doing that and I do um, prenatal massage so anyone who's pregnant from first, second or third trimester um, I do that. I also do regular relaxation especially now people are like so stressed out. Yeah. So I do a lot of those, too, just to, you know, back, uh, arms and legs, hands and feet, kind of medium pressure relaxation. And um, and I also do Reiki in the office, too. I do 30-minute treatments and hour treatments, which is a very gentle form of body work where it's just my hands right on the person very gently or hovering over. Um, and that's like a nice way to kind of release um, tension in the body and people usually have like a, just a greater sense of well-being and, and feeling grounded after mm. the treatment. And then right now I'm currently teaching yoga for the Dairy Parks and Rec, which I love doing. We're doing it outside um, at Dawn Ball and that's at on Thursday mornings at 10 a.m. and it's five bucks. So that's a really nice way for people to still be able to come together in a group. We use social distancing um, six feet and it's outside and it's it's really awesome. I love that. And I'm also doing my doula training. Okay. Um, that's like like a birth attendant. So it's not a midwife, but you're there as a support person for the birth for the birthing person. So um, um, in my training for that, but that's a, like a hands-on approach where I might do massage, mm-hmm. aromatherapy, med- guided meditation. Yeah to um, support the, the person um, giving birth. So yeah. I'm really excited about that. Yeah, I want to say I moved in here last, I want to say June, mm-hmm. in pre-pandemic. Um, we had people here working as doulas. Well, not actively oh, yeah. working, but they would meet clients here and talk yeah, and stuff. Yeah, yeah. And the first time I reached out, I'm like, what is a doula? Yeah. And I've, so I've <laughs> talked to a lot of businesses, and I had no idea what that was until... Yeah, recently, in. yeah. Yeah, and they still never got a really good answer out of them what they do. So this is that's oh, kind of lead up to, lead up to my question. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you want to talk a little bit about being a doula? Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm in my training now, so I'm okay. about three quarters of the way through. I've heard. But what you would do is before um, someone gives birth, you'd, uh, especially in the... I think doula goes really nice with being a massage therapist because I do prenatal massage. So what I would do is have people come in, do the prenatal massage, and then do one-on-one work with them where we would do um, try birth positions and kind of practice ahead of time what positions might be beneficial for them, talk about you know why it might be helpful, how it helps open the hips and everything, prepare you for birth. 
And then um, we talk about other things that we can use, like the essential oils, like during labor mm -hmm. or while pushing, stuff like that. And uh, doulas are um, awesome because they really reduce the rate of medical intervention. So uh, studies have shown if you have a doula with you as you're preparing for birth and birthing, you're less likely to have uh, medical interventions like a mm -hmm. C-section or need for epidural or anything like that. Although if someone plans on having a completely medicated birth, you can also have a doula there. And it um, can just be a shoulder to cry on, a hand to hold, just someone who's specifically there for you. Yeah. Um, and you can help a pregnant person come up with their birth plan ahead of time. So if they have specific things they want or don't want yeah. while they're in the hospital or whatever, you can advocate for them. If they're, you know, if they're focusing on getting through the contractions, you can be the one that kind of... Uh, advocates for him. Oh, that's pretty interesting. Yeah. Yeah, that's a better explanation than I got from <laughs> Okay, cool. The last group. <laughs> that's funny. So <laughs> okay, so let's get back to so I know you have a physical location in Derry. Yeah, that's right. At um uh, sixty West Broadway. So okay. if you know Derry, I'm right across from the Marion Garish Center. Okay, yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. That's, that's a good spot. Yeah, it's it's a great spot. I have a nice um you know, entry lobby area, mm -hmm. and then I have a, an office area, and then the um, where I do the sessions is is great. It's a private bathroom, a mm -hmm. private changing area. Uh, it's a nice, quiet spot. There's a, some natural sunlight that comes in, so I'm really happy with the spot that I'm in, and clients like it. It's, it's awesome. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, as I said, it's a nice part of town. It's quieter than being out here on... <laughs> this main road, so it's pretty good. It is. It's yeah. cool, and I like to walk. I walk down to the grind and get a coffee. Yeah. It's like it's nice being right down. Yeah, it's nice like it. cool. Um, so, hmm. so you said you've been doing this since the 1990s. Yeah, 1995. Yeah, I had like a at the time I had like a street kind of office job. It was like torture for me. I was sitting at the same desk mm -hmm. all the time. And I was like, what am I going to do? I can't do this the rest of my life. This is, like, going to be, you know, like, I was like, I, I need to find something, you know, where I can, like, express myself a little more. And um, <clears throat> and I'm learning, you know, uh, that I'm very intuitive. And I like to make stuff with my hands, even when I'm not doing massage. I like to paint. I like to, <clears throat> excuse me, you know, refinish old furniture. I like to... Um, you know, do uh, to garden. I have chickens. I'm very hands-on and, and like to kind of uh, work that way. So massage has been like a great uh, career for me because it never gets boring. Every person comes in with their own um, history, their own physical history yeah. and um, their own tension that they carry, whether it's like emotional tension, stress, a lot of times people are caring for a loved one, um, you know, they might not be in a good situation at home, or maybe just the work stress is overwhelming, and so I love um, doing the hands-on massage, but also, you know, I'm releasing the physical tension, but emotional tension comes out with that, you know what I'm saying, I, is sometimes people will, will feel a little emotional after a massage, mm -hmm. and I say it's like when someone that you love gives you a hug, it's just very comforting to kind of feel like you're in a safe place to let that tension out, so yeah. that's like what I love about what I do, it's really like, it's rewarding for me, do you know what I mean, like mm -hmm. getting that helping people feel better when after they see me they you know say oh that's the first time I had a good night's sleep in years or yeah. you know I finally you know didn't have to take a handful of Motrin you know when I woke up in the morning um, or you know I felt I went home with a smile on my face so I was like more able to be more attentive to my spouse or my family mm -hmm. or my work or whatever so um, that's the long version is that it's very rewarding and mm. and it never gets boring because there's always um, something for me to learn as a therapist there's always new techniques I can try out and everybody I meet has a different experience so every client is um, you know keeps it interesting for yeah. me you know <laughs> that's good yeah I, I see a lot of massage therapists and they and generally really, really like to do 
their work. You know? Yeah. It's kind of nice to, how do I word this, get out of corporate life and do something that where you can help other people. And yeah. It seems to be very benefit. Very beneficial for them and your. It and is. Yourself. It is. I mean, I think if you like doing it, like I, you yeah. know, you, because some I have uh, like friends or people when they find out a massage therapist, they'll, they'll be like, "How can you? You just touch, you know, people you don't know." For me, that's I'm very comfortable doing that. Mm -hmm. You know, like it's, you know, f feels like a calling for me. Like I, it's what I love to do, and I, yeah. you know, um, so yeah, it's it's definitely. Uh, you know, re rewarding and and something that I feel like I should be doing. You know, I, uh, part of the pandemic, I had to close for a while just mm -hmm. due to the regulations. Yeah. And I said to my husband, I was like, I can imagine if you were in a job where you, you know, you weren't really happy with what you're doing. If you had to take a break like this, you might be like, man, what am, what am I doing with my life? You know what I mean? Like, I, you know, I don't want to have to go back to that. But for me, it was just confirmation because I was like, man, I miss my clients. I can't, you know, <laughs> like, oh, they probably need a massage really bad right now. So yeah, like um, everyone's hyper stressed out. Yeah, like. exactly. Exactly. <laughs> I'm like, I got to get back to work. So, uh, awesome. yeah. So that's pretty good. So I know every practice is a little different. Mm -hmm. I know there's a lot of. I don't know if you want to call them modalities, but there's a lot of types of massages out mm -hmm. there and stuff. Um, so every practice is a little bit different. You want to talk a little bit about your practice? Is it just you? Um, do you have other masseuses working for you? Or are you trying to get to that point? Are you staying at this level? Like kind of what's the look of the business? Um, for me, right now it's me at my office, mm -hmm. just me. And I'm there um, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, most Saturdays. And I'll usually see anywhere from two to four clients a day. That's like my max. I feel like f four clients, I can give everybody my full attention yeah. and give them, you know, the massage I want. After that, I kind of get <coughs> tired. My energy starts going down. Yeah. And I'm not willing to do a massage. That's not the best that I can do. <coughs> Excuse me. So day to day, that's kind of what it looks like. And then... Um, you know, usually when the client comes in, we kind of chat before I do anything to see how they're feeling. So yeah. even a client that might like deep tissue on a regular basis might come in and say, oh, I just need to relax today. I just want a nice, you know, relaxation kind of mm -hmm. medium, a full body massage yeah. where, you know, previous week or visits, they might just want an hour on their neck and shoulders or something. So I love feeling. It, yeah. <laughs> so it varies. Um uh, and yeah, I mean, I, I kind of like where I am right now as far as the number of clients I see and um, the type of work I'm doing. I do have two young kids that are in school in Derry. Mm -hmm. And so um, I feel like it's, a, for me personally, it's a nice balance between work and my personal life. It's yeah. kind of like hitting the mark of where, you know, I'm happy to see my clients when I see them. Yeah. And then when I have, you know, time with my um, family that, you know, I'm not uh, given too much at work. So I'm, I kind of am in a good place right now. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah. I like to ask that because a lot of times, especially younger entrepreneurs, mm -hmm. oh, yeah, grow bigger, bigger <laughs> yeah, businesses. Yeah. And I'm like, sometimes having a business that, you know, you said two, three, four clients a couple times a week. Right. Not looking to take on like 50 other masseuses, like the bigger uh, yes. parlors that we have because people don't want that yeah, sometimes. Yeah, exactly. Know? So it's a good question. It can be tempting to kind of, you know, like when I, I get uh, opportunity sometimes to do more, mm -hmm. you know, that would take more of my time yep. or maybe take away, but I have to like – you know, my ego sometimes like, oh, that sounds fun. I'd like to do that. Or, you know, that would be exciting. But, um, you know, like, like I tell my clients, I mean, I'm trying to practice what I preach. You need a good balance of, you know, um, work and, you know, being, being, uh, having the rest of your life be an important part to mm -hmm. your family, your friends, your spare time, your downtime. So try not to get caught up too much and, yeah. uh, you know. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. So for people that want to learn a little more about you, your practice, maybe get a massage, how do they get a hold of you? Yeah. 
Um, I would say Facebook would be the first place to go, Sage Lotus Healing. Mm -hmm. And there's a um, link there on the Book Now button that will bring you to my online scheduler. Mm -hmm. And I, I really love the online scheduler. It's it's very convenient, I think, for the clients and me because yeah. you can look at my calendar. You can pick what time. Um, and there's never any problem with, like, Oh, oh, noon? I thought it was 12.15. You know, like mm -hmm. you get reminder emails. Yeah. You can see all the services um, with a detailed description. Um, so I would say Facebook. And then you can email me, sagelotushealing at gmail.com, too, if you have any questions or anything. Yeah. And I'm on Instagram, too. All right. Perfect. I'll link all those so everyone can see them. Okay, cool. um, I got to say, I do like the, the schedulers as well. Yeah. I mean, we, just, yeah. we just got through mine, and I've, I've realized that <clears throat> as obnoxious as it can be, those auto emails yes. are, they drastically increase the rate that people actually show up <laughs> for right, their session. Right. So yeah. it's kind of nice. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> it's like, so you, can't say you, didn't, you can't say you didn't know, right, you know, because right, right. my system's obnoxious about sending out reminders. Yeah, reminders. <laughs> well, then and if someone needs to reschedule, too, it's easy. They don't yep. have to try to get me on the phone. They don't have to mm -hmm. wait for a responding email. You can just link, go right to it, to the reminder yeah. email that you get yeah. and change it. So it's easy. Yeah, yeah. that's why I always like those. So yeah. do it. No, not for me, but for her. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, not for me. Yeah. <laughs> so thank you so much for joining me. This has been fun. Yeah. All right. Thanks so much. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you need a massage, definitely reach out. They are very enjoyable. I like massages when I can actually get the time yeah, to get right. them. And uh, we'll see you all next time. Thank you. Want more New Hampshire Business Show? Find us at iTunes, Stitcher, iHeartRadio, and www.nhbusinessshow.com.